So this was a five day challenge and now it's a six day challenge. And everyone last night felt like it was a six day challenge, but I'm gonna go with a six day challenge. Everyone's worked around the clock, it's amazing. It's so heartwarming, but we didn't get enough parts. We didn't get everything done. We were planning to leave today at 10 a.m. to go with the cruise to Campfest. Instead, we're gonna leave later on with a whole group of other friends. We just have to finish. So, this morning I got up at six o'clock in the morning and I drove this beautiful new Golf 7.5 uh, GTI from the Volkswagen uh, group. And the logistics team invited me to their parts distribution warehouse. It's the biggest one in South Africa. It supplies all the neighboring countries. Nobody gets to go there. And they invited me in and gave me a really amazing but pretty quick tour. And this is why I went there, because they overnighted, and I didn't quite understand, but it might have been in a specific order, a truck, this, and it arrived at seven o'clock this morning. And it is a brand new OEM lake spec hatch, which doesn't have the holes for the wiper or the rear sprayer. So it's a super smooth hatch, which I've seen here in South Africa before and was like, this is the coolest thing in the world. I need to have that. So now we do. All right, on the record, Volkswagen Group South Africa have absolutely kicked ass on this. It's incredible that they invite me into their business, warehouse, everything, and let me meet their people and help us with all of this. I cannot believe that a major car manufacturer is going out of their way to help with all of this silliness. I am so flattered and grateful, and everyone I met today was incredible. There's, there's so many cool stories. Uh, very, very quickly, one of the managers there was in the production of the City Golf and the Golfs in 1982 when he started, and he made the tooling for the original production lines. And he's worked there all that time and remembers everything about these cars. Like that history is incredible. And as a nerd, I am freaking out. Day six, th this has to be the last day. We have to go to the show. So yeah, let's, let's do it. All the uh, wiring and just like bundling it all together, just make sure nothing's rubbing anything. Cooling hoses are like clear from like the shifter tower and anything that can give us issues because we're going to be driving this car 1,200 miles one way to the port so it can get shipped to Germany after this. So. First American to ever put together a City Golf big door for a Mark One, and I have no idea how any of it goes. Not to mention no hardware. So that looks like something. I put ah, it on because there was no threads. I was like, no, what? Whatever. Dumb. Whatever. We know what you're doing, VW engineers. <laughs> we know. It's so weird having Mark Three with Frank. I know. Uh, it's close. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take the glass out, but we're gonna do it the uh, the fast way. So these tail lights are discontinued, and you can only get aftermarket. But the very nice people of Volkswagen South Africa found that a dealership near Mozambique had one, and a dealership 500 miles away from there had another one for the other side. This is possibly the last set in dealer stuff <laughs> at all, so we're just hoping it's not cracked. The wrong one. I thought you pour it out and pieces come out. <laughs> it smells like the 80s. Oh my god. Now you just need another one. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, so now we have one super rare smoke which used to be available, but are no longer from one side. Very this sums up the whole build. 
let's hurry up and wait. Uh, but really, that's very exciting. They went super above and beyond to find this. We just need the other one, and then we're uh, we're in business. So that's a standard. That's our black coin with our logo and everything on it. That's cool. And then we make a few versions of it. Red, silver, shift patterns for a couple different ones. What material is that metal? Uh, that's 6061. And then I have it in clear, and then I have it in red in it. Oh, that's world class. Huh? Yeah, we sell, sell a crap load of them. <laughs> we really do. Maybe now I'm going to show you. I think I have to buy you that. If that is I don't think anyone's got to buy anyone anything in this part. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, man. No, no, really, no. This is so not, cool. not even close to what you've done for us. Definitely enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's you. It's going to put it on today. <laughs> I, I get it. It's easy. I mean, it's an easy install. It really is. It's actually really coming together. The guys have been doing the dashboard, fantasy rides are here doing the interior. Absolutely incredible work. And yeah, it's just got to get everything ready once they're done. Then we can get the doors on. We've got to do an alignment. I need to do a little bit of wiring work. Hood on. Lots of stuff still. Lots of stuff. Midnight. <laughs> Midnight. Oh, Where can you get plates in the wallet? But I took yeah. them. <laughs> so there's your front, yeah. your back plate. Okay, sweet. Oh, dude, you didn't have to do that. Thank uh, you. Nah, this is just for my sake. That's yeah. awesome. Hello, Jamie or <laughs> and I got one with your Instagram. Oh, damn. Instagram. Little, uh, little, there you go. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure, That's amazing. Man. Thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> cool. Cars outside for the first time. It's been a super stressful 48 hours. It's nuts. And the car is running, reversing, going forward, stopping. But we've only tested it for, uh, for 20 feet. So we're gonna just go and try a 100 mile drive right now as the yeah. first ever drive of this thing. It's gonna work? Mike says yes, Jamie says no. <laughs> I hope Mike's right. So we broke down twice, but in the exact same place, we didn't have time to believe that a cooling system. So we just literally filled it up, left, and it blew a hose off. And then we filled it up again here, fixed it, and it blew the opposite end of the same hose off. So we couldn't find anywhere open. We called our friend Vickis from uh, Delaray Racing Development and Goldwagen Delaray. And yes, I give a lot of shout outs to people, but they're so nice and generous and helpful. So I really feel like I have to. Him and his wife drove here with Awesome cooling hoses, fresh coolant, liquid moly of course, 
and we hung out with them and now we're getting some fuel and then we're going to try and drive more than 10 miles this time because um, Camp Fest is happening and we are, should be there already. Uh, this one's cool. <laughs> deaths if we all die oh my gosh we broke down again because that's what this car is doing because we built it so fast and whatever it's all my fault and all that happens is more and more cars just keep showing up and we're having a freaking get together on the side of a highway which is hyper unsafe <laughs> So these guys just said that they were came to Camp Fest to see the car today and I didn't make it because we broke down and well we just didn't finish it in time. So I feel so sorry. So if you were watching this and you came to Camp Fest today and you want to see my car, which is very we flattering, but whatever. Unfortunately we have to go home. But I but I apologize. I wish you the best of luck and I really hope you get to Camp Fest. I so, <laughs> I but I live in those the turnout is just gonna be as yeah. as many people yeah. tomorrow. Uh. So you the camp fest one of the best Volkswagen shows anywhere in the entire world I'm so excited to get inside and meet some awesome people and the car made it